C10 News Pinpoint Weather Super 7 Day Forecast. And it's 644 on your Monday morning. You're taking a live look outside from our OB Skycam facing the OB Pier. Uh, I can't really tell. The V's a little fuzzy here. Can't really tell if there is anyone paddling out. It doesn't look like there is. It looks like the waves are pretty choppy this morning. A mixed wall bringing two to four foot sets. Water temperatures cool in the low 60s or current risk at a low level and the UV index at a moderate level. It's brisk out, so grab a jacket before you head outside. We're in the 30s for some of our most populated neighborhoods inland and uh, not a lot of relief for the coastal areas. A lot of neighborhoods, in fact, are waking up much cooler than yesterday. We have the lack of clouds this afternoon, though, will actually trend a little warmer. So despite waking up cooler this afternoon, will be anywhere from five degrees warmer. All right, right now, sustained winds are calm, but those wind gusts, isolated gusts, are starting to pick up. It is due to that Santa Ana flow. So right now we're tracking anywhere between five to 25 mile per hour gusts, and those gusts are going to continue to increase not only today but later on this week we have two rounds of Santa Ana uh, conditions or Santa Ana winds uh, that is going to blanket the southwest uh, this week so this is our first area of low pressure that counterclockwise rotation is bringing in those north northeasterly winds and then we'll have a secondary one the closer these lines are together the tighter the pressure gradient and the stronger the wind so that's the reason why we're going to have that drier warmer air because of that north northeasterly flow those Santa Ana are going to elevate fire danger now all the way through the middle of the week. So now's a good time to prepare. Make sure that you're grabbing those essential items in case you have to evacuate. Hopefully you don't, but again, we are entering Santa Ana season. The weather up ahead, chilly mornings followed by pleasant days and daytime highs will be just shy of average. Santa Ana's today and then again Wednesday and Thursday. The strongest winds will be midweek with that elevated fire danger impacting San Diego County. And then looking ahead to election day tomorrow, perfect Perfect voting weather, 60s and 70s on tap for the coastal and valley neighborhoods. Yes, we're waking up cool, but this afternoon will be nice. In fact, taking a look at those hour by hour uh, temperatures will climb close to 70 degrees by 11 o'clock. Most of the day along the coast will be in the low 70s. If you're hanging out in the shade or you're grabbing a lunch, maybe you grab a jacket because although it'll be sunny, once you get in the shade and you have that nice sea breeze, it will feel a lot cooler. Inland areas, mid 70s all the way through the weekend, subtle day to day changes especially for the coast and inland valleys. The mountain areas will see a drop in temperatures Wednesday and Thursday. Remember, we have that drier, cooler air impacting the county's eastern half especially. Desert areas will be in the mid to upper 70s and then we'll drop down about five degrees or so by election day and we'll stay cool through Thursday with some subtle warming 70s by Friday, 80s by this weekend. Mel.